Hi viewers, I'm Victor from Kiambu County, Kiduguri Sub County. I'm a young farmer and I learn a farm called Very Bari Farm. I don't farm alone, we do it with Joseph Mukua and Daniel Wanyoike, who is not here. But today we're gonna talk about gooseberries. Uh, in the vernacular, it's called Navi. Uh, the ones that you find uh, that the one the small boys they like picking and eating in the forest. But this one is a little bit different, it's also very interesting and it's also very marketable and on the other note it is very nutritious. And the variety we do on this farm, our farm is a hundred by hundred and we have risked it for five years. So this is where we do our farming. This gooseberry, it is not like the one that is the, that grows naturally in the forest. This one is a little bit improved and uh, it's not also from the country. We call it the Natherad variety. It's a giant Natherad variety. One of the uh, one of the differences from the one that grows naturally in the forest is that this one, number one, it's bigger in size, as you can see. Number one, you can check at these two. It's bigger in size. If I can open like this, yeah, bigger in size. Number two, it has a very appealing color, which sounds like orange. And the moment you taste it, it's sweet and does not have the bitter taste. Is, yeah. So, when you taste this one, is a little bit. Uh, it's sweet compared to the one that it grows naturally. It's a little bit sour and bitter. But for it to achieve the, the sweet taste, this this husk has to dry up to show you that it's fully mature. Like this one is fully mature. And if you if you could have not picked it like today and come to pick it like a few days later, this part detaches. Yeah, it, it, it detaches from the carex. Yeah, this part called the carex for those who did uh, um, science, both, both in uh, primary school and those who did biology, call it the carex, where the, the fruit, or the, you can call it the umbilical cord of the plant. Yeah, so uh, it's much bigger, and the, when the task turns to be dry, that's when it achieves its sweetest taste. The moment you pick it when it's not dry like this one, you feel you you find that it has that sour taste a little bit, yeah. So you must you have to make sure that you the husk has to dry up to achieve that uh, sweeter taste. Now, how do you propagate these gooseberries? Now you can propagate it in two ways. Number one, which is the most definite uh, way, is through the seeds. Yeah, through the seeds. So you can purchase the seeds and you're able to propagate it from a young plant and then it takes about one month and then you transplant the other way you can propagate it is through the uh, we call them the cuttings yeah so like this part if you can look at this plant there's this cutting here that is around here so you can you can detach it from here to here and then you have a stock this stock now when you get this stock you buy something we call a routine hormone and, uh, and, 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 and soak it for some days, yeah? for about seven days or so, it will start producing the roots, okay? The, uh, by, the, by, by the way, if you like, like this stalk, if you look here, if it touches the ground for a long time, you can see another stalk is appearing here, yeah? So it is developing some roots here. So that is to show that you can propagate it actually from the stalks. Planting. You have to prepare number one the lad and then you do your spacing in our farm we have done our spacing at a space of one meter from one plant to another okay you have done a spacing of one meter uh, between one plant to another our, about this farm has about about 500 it has about 500 stems uh, as you can see now for us to achieve maximum production in this farm we want uh, today we have not really done it but we are working towards it it is to stick the plants so that they stop lying on the ground and to avoid some breakages like in, uh, in several plants as you can see they are a bit lying row and the moment they are lying row you find that they can be have some breakages especially when there is uh, heavy rains or weeds so to avoid that is that you, you stick the plants so that they can start and also for optimum uh, production now the another advantage for farming this variety is it produces throughout 
the year as far as you give it water and manure and like these ones we will have to change them after three years so you can see it's an advantage yes berry compared to the strawberry where the management practices is hard now somebody could be asking do you do you use pesticides when you're doing gooseberries no this plant does not require any pesticide because in itself it has some properties and some chemicals that even it is very unpleasant to insects so you don't need to spray anything it is also resistant to things like cold it is a drought resistant crop and it's also a very good crop finally some of the advantages of consuming gooseberries is it has number one it is very rich in vitamin c it is also rich in vitamin b and also rich in vitamin a and it's also good for children who are developing teeth yeah the children who have started to develop their teeth is a good good fruit for them as an initial fruit the other thing is that it is readily available we know that other fruits comes with the season but this one you can consume it anytime and any minute that you want it so it's a very good uh, fruit for consumption you can take it as breakfast with a blender and make some good juice from the gooseberries otherwise uh, thanks for your time and that's all about the gooseberry farming we'll keep in touch for another upcoming video bye bye i encourage youth to embrace agribusiness and to enter the farming sector because if you look at the ages uh, the ages of people who are practicing farming currently in our country mm -hmm. are people from the ages of 35 years and above and uh, you find that uh, in terms of diversity they have been doing things according to the social norm but for us we have decided to be unique and decided to go raj number one and number two we have decided to go with a unique plant called the gooseberries which has been done by others but we are the first people in our locality to do it here in Gedongoli sub county and Kiabu county and we do a variety called giant gooseberry